Actually, there's a tutorial that uh, it's a PDF file that I'm gonna send to you when when we finish. But uh, yeah, <laughs> so today it's gonna be about Cadence. Now, Cadence itself is not a single application. It's actually a suite of of a like very large number of applications. The the application that we're gonna be using is called Virtuoso which is the schematic uh, creator. It's where you draw schematics and simulate them. Okay, so this should be much easier than magic because it's a graphical user interface. You don't write commands and everything is more intuitive like menus and it's, it's just more modern than ma magic. Okay, so let's start. Let me first connect to Cax. Okay, so first thing is, uh, this is a one-time thing you need to do before, at the start of this semester, in order to use Cadence. You need to modify a file called .cshrc, and it's in your, in your home directory. So what you do is, and I'm going to send you this by email, but um, you open gedit and the .cshrc file. <coughs> And you see this, the last line that I added here, this line. You need to add this line to your .cs hrc file. And I'm going to send you this line by email. Once you've done that, to start Cadence, first you do tcsh. And then you should, uh, if you're starting a new project, you should create a new directory for it. So let's call this directory 586lab1. Okay. We go to that directory, and in that directory we type cadence setup 45. And it doesn't work for some reason. Anyway, it's supposed to work. I'll fix that. But in the meantime, let me try this. Oh, I'm sorry. It should be cat setup. Oh, okay, never mind. It should be cat setup 45, but um, I'll fix that later. In the meantime, I'll do it the old fashioned way. <coughs> Okay, now the command to start cadence is virtuoso. And we always put an end after the command so that we can still use uh, the command line. By the way, this is uh, an older version of cadence. We have a newer version, but the newer version only works with 45 nanometer. This version, we're going to be using the 65 nanometer. Uh, remember in Magic, you used, what, what did you guys use? Uh, 180, yeah. So this is 65. Yeah, this is on the Swamp Lab machines and in the VLSI lab too. If you want to connect like this remotely from your laptop, it's going to be really slow. Uh, in this case, it's fast because I'm using, I'm using an Ethernet cable in my laptop. But uh, if you're using CAX Wi-Fi, then it might be fast, but you should try that first. Okay, so this is uh, the main window of Cadence. From here you open all the tools that you need. The first thing you do usually is you open the library manager. The library manager has all the 
gates, all the transistors, all the different libraries that are available for, uh, available for you to design your circuits in. But what we want to do is, we can't modify any of these libraries. They are built-in libraries. So we need to create a new library for uh, our project, which is a personal library. What we do is file, new, and library. <coughs> Let's call it uh, my first library. OK. <coughs> now it's going to ask us, uh, according to what technology do you want to use this library? So we tell it to uh, attach to an existing technology, say OK. Now a window should come up asking us what technology to attach to. And from here, you choose CMOS 65. OK, so what we've done so far is that we created our first library and we told it to follow the 65 nanometer technology. Now, the first step is to create a new cell in our library. Now, um, let's create a, a gate that does um, both AND and OR. OK, it's a new gate we're inventing right now. So I'm going to call the cell uh, A AND OR gate. AO gate. And here you can create both layouts and schematics. But for the first part in the semester, we're going to deal with schematics. In the later part, we're going to do layouts. But for now, we choose the schematic composer. OK. And this is the schematic composer. Right here, we start creating our first uh, cell. OK. Does it look easy so far? Is it better than magic? Worse than magic? OK. Yeah? What does it mean to you? OK. Yeah, I was going to explain that. Now, see these libraries here? These are, ver these are not just uh, something that you get in the software. You, buy, you get Cadence separately. And Cadence doesn't come with any libraries. It comes with, a, with like general libraries that are not useful for anything. But say you want to design a circuit in 65 nanometer, a chip, and send it to fabrication. So you find a, a company that produces 65 nanometer libraries, and you buy that library from that company. And that company also like usually <coughs> manufactures chips in 65 nanometer. So you go to that company, and you get that library. They give you a Cadence-compatible library. You install it in Cadence. And then you get all the elements that you want, the end gates, the transistors, and everything. And you use these to build your chip. And this library is called STM. The company is called STM. It, it supplied us with the 65 nanometer library. Um, it has all kinds of gates that you can imagine, all kinds of registers, multiplexers, uh, everything you can imagine. It has them both in layout form and in schematic form. OK? Now, the cells are, for instance, each gate is a cell. Each register is a cell. Each multiplexer is a cell. Um, each library contains multiple cells. So that's what we refer to as cell. OK, getting back to our circuit. OK, first, we should get uh, our first transistor. Now, there are multiple ways to do that. The easiest is to press I, which goes for instance. Or we can go add instance here. And so here, we click on browse. And for transistors, we should go to CMOS. 065. Okay, all of these are transistors and um, 
contacts for layout. But let's first get our NMOS transistor. Now the transistor we're going to be using is called NSVT LP, meaning NMOS stand, standard voltage threshold low power. That's what it stands for. You have multiple versions. You have uh, high VT, you have uh, low VT, you have multiple things. So here we select symbol, we get back to our schematic, and we place it here. Okay, can place another one here, and I press R to rotate, and I place another one here. Now I want a PMOS, so I want a PSVT LP. <clears throat> okay. Actually, uh, okay. So I've placed all of the elements I need in the circuit for now. Now I want to move this transistor because it's too close to this one. So what I do is I press M and I click on the transistor and then I move it to where I want. Do the same here. And here. Okay. Now let me bring the VDD and ground. These are, uh, you add them the same way that you add the transistors. Go add instance. Except you don't choose these from the 65 nanometer library, you choose them from the analog library. This is a default library in Cadence. It's not a company supplied library. So we come here and we write GND. Okay. And let's get our VDD. By the way, if you want to zoom in and out, you use the scroll wheel of the mouse. It's really easy. Okay. Now to do the wiring, we could either do add uh, wire or just press W. W is much faster. So here we just do the wiring. And by the way, here I'm making a huge mistake. There's something that I'm not connecting yet. Yes, you win a prize today. <coughs> you can choose that during the exam if you want. It's not recommended though. LT spice. Yes, yes, it's uh, almost the same thing, yeah. Except LT spice is free and this costs like a uh, $400,000 or something. <laughs> okay. So now we connect the bodies. Where do we connect the bodies? Right. So we take all the bodies, connect them to ground. all the bodies here to VDD. 